Don't make these three mistakes when buying commercial real estate. Hey everybody, I'm Tiffany Weber. I'm an attorney at Thomas & Weber in North Carolina. And today we're gonna to talk about some common mistakes made when purchasing real estate and how you can avoid them. And don't forget, if you want to see more videos just like this one, subscribe to our channel. One of the most common mistakes that we see from buyers purchasing commercial real estate is that they don't call us until the contract's already been signed. So I highly recommend that if you are trying to buy commercial real estate or if you're selling commercial real estate, Call the attorney before you ink the deal. And that's because sometimes these contracts are drafted by out-of-state attorneys who don't know the local law or custom. Very rarely is it the standard North Carolina commercial contract. So it's really important to know what you're getting into. And it's also really good to know whether maybe an out-of-state attorney put in something that's not correct in North Carolina. We can get all of that straightened out ahead of time before you've already committed to something that maybe you can't fulfill. The second common mistake that we often see are purchasers not getting all of the inspections that they can or not getting them fully. If you have ever talked to Ben Thomas, he will tell you that whenever you're buying a property that's occupied by a tenant, the best inspection you will ever get is by going to the tenant and asking what needs to be repaired because you can be sure they are going to give you a long list or every little thing that they think needs to be addressed. Also, you have to look out for zoning issues. That's part of doing your due diligence on the property, making sure that your contemplated use of the property is in fact allowed by the county or the town where you're going to be operating your business. And the third common mistake that we see from people buying commercial real estate is that they are not familiar with their lender's underwriting requirements. You wouldn't believe the number of times we've heard a buyer say, what on earth is this phase one environmental assessment that the lender is asking me to do suddenly? Or why am I being asked to guarantee this loan? And it's good to know when you're identifying your lender, getting approved for a loan, that you ask what's going to be required to actually make the deal go so that you're not suddenly surprised or begging at the last minute to not have to guarantee a loan in which the lender might say, well, if you don't guarantee it, we're not gonna lend to you. All right, and a bonus tip for you guys, please avoid this mistake when you're purchasing commercial real estate, and that is not being familiar with the restrictions on the property. For example, if you're buying a shopping center and you want to rent one of the units to, um, let's say a hair salon, but there's already a hair salon there, you'd have to make sure that the restrictions didn't prevent that or any existing leases did not prevent you from being able to do that. Um, often you will find that um, a use is limited to just one tenant, so you don't necessarily want a tenant full of 10, or a shopping center full of 10 hair salons. So there's all sorts of little tiny rules that you have to follow and be aware of those up front. That's just a short list, but those are three big things that we see. And if you are aware of those things going in, you're going to be a more informed prospective purchaser or seller of commercial real estate. There's always so much more that can happen in a transaction. So you should really have a good real estate agent and a good attorney on your side so that they can help you navigate through this exciting, but really big, important time in your life. Again, I'm Tiffany Weber. I'm a real estate attorney in North Carolina at Thomas & Weber in Mooresville. So make sure you check out our channel for more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one.